So, so many guys that are, you know, flipping, pitching, casting Texas rigs, you'll see them take and put usually a bobber stop on their line and it stops their weight right there and holds it as one, kind of like a jig going down. Well, what that means is any time a fish bites that, he's got to have that thing in his mouth. So the whole thing is in there. So now when you set the hook, you've got to pull that weight out of his mouth. You know, a weight that's this size, it's okay. The bigger weights, it actually opens his mouth enough to where you lose fish, you miss fish. And so what I've gotten to do is to not peg it at all. I think you catch more fish um, percentage wise. So when you get a bite, and I think you actually probably get a few more bites by not pegging, um, and I'll show you why. So when you pitch it into the water and it goes, this breaks away. So it's like one thing chasing another. Well, one thing we know is bass are competitive, extremely competitive. So when they have something chasing something else, it gets them excited. So here's something chasing something else as it's sinking, they get excited. Here it is, gets down there, they suck it in and guess what? The weight's not in their mouth. So what happens when you pull? That, that hook hooks them. So I tend to not peg at all, get a higher percentage of, ooh, I almost teed off. It fell over a root. So what happens instead of it sinking like this far, it sank a little bit farther. So um, like, like flipping in this cover right here, if you're flipping in it and it's pegged, it goes through easy. But once you learn to tighten your line up or shake it and get them together as one unit, they still go through. So you still get the same, same deal. It's just a little bit harder to get it to sink when it's not pegged. But once you spend a little bit of time doing it, you'll master that and then it's lights out. Goodness gracious, look good. Come on, look at this one. Coming through the chestnut, rip through the stuff. Oh, come on, you can make it. Come on. He got his eyes covered, fat pig. <laughs> you, you are one fat piggy. Man, gotta love it. There we go. You know, just bottom line is any time in the springtime, and really it's the number one rig to go to, straight old fashioned Texas rig. You know, I'm using a, a Trocar TK120 heavy wire, 20 pound Abraze X, um, a tungsten weight. This is a, I think it's a 3 8 ounce tungsten, uh, Strike King tungsten, and a Rage Bug. And that's just a great go to. It's like a little crawfish crawling down there on the bottom, coming into the bed or any type of little bug that's getting in there and they don't like it. So you get around a bed and you're going to catch them. You're going to get bit, you're going to catch them. And it's something that you can just rely on, you know, over and over and over. Uh, pretty simple. You know, I put it on a heavy rod. So this is a heavy cover, which is a 7 6, basically a flip stick. Um, you know, a, the Skeet Reese, the Victory Carbon Tube reel from uh, Wright McGill. And uh, it's just a great outfit all around. So I can not only cast it like up to cover and pitch it up to cover, but I can also, when I come by junk like that, I can flip it in there. So it goes in and it penetrates. So you've got a combination here of just pitching and flipping and just covering the bottom and covering the spots where, you know, those fish can spawn. Pretty awesome deal.